The word feminism has become way too cliche that most people are totally confused on what it is actually. Anyone can wake up and claim to be a feminist. Some see it as a fight between a certain group of women and alpha males. And because of that, feminism has been watered down to a movement of misandrists. So today we are here on the podcast to dive into the dynamics of feminism for people to understand and for us to educate ourselves as well because, yeah, we are part of the society. So if today we are trying to say that feminism is not what it is accused of being, what then is feminism? So as you join us on today's podcast, I hope you learn as we learn too. Welcome back. This is another episode of the Vigilant Podcast. And because we are talking about matters consigning both gender, I guess you know we should have a full house. And yes, a full house we have. Today on the podcast, I have myself, Odiawa, Elumi, Elizabeth, and Grace. And all of us will be giving our different views on feminism, what we think feminism is all about. So as you join, please engage and enjoy the conversations. Okay, you are welcome again. And we will start today's podcast by trying to know the meaning of feminism. We, we've had a lot of feminism. Everyone is a feminist. Like everyone wants to be a feminist, but most of us, don't, we, we don't even know the meaning. So today, let me start by asking Mr. Odiawa, what do you think feminist, feminism rather means? What do you think it means? Greetings, everyone. Greetings. Actually, uh, feminism, when you talk about feminism, you're talking about uh, equal rights and opportunities for all genders, mm -hmm. respecting the experiences and endeavors of even the female, <laughs> most in particular. So many people misconstrue the definition of feminism. But uh, if we look at it closely, most women now back then, they were denied opportunities. Let's take, for instance, suffrage. We're talking about voting here. They were not actually granted opportunities to vote back then, but as we speak now, they even have the opportunities to contest for office and not just contesting and losing, but also getting elected into office. So in summary, that's all I have to say from my own angle. Okay, that's a very good answer. And I hope it's what you believe, actually. Don't just give us the definition. Do you believe in that? Thank you. Let's go over to Elizabeth. What do you have to say about feminism? Well, I just feel feminism has is a, is a movement, actually, mm -hmm. where women are advocating that let us be given the same platform that is given to a male. Let us be given that same, you know, the, the way people look at the male in the society, the acceptance, you know, the recognition, yeah. the benefit of doubt, yes. the freedom. Like, can I go into this place and do something without people look, judging me anyhow? Can I stand up to do this? Can I break free from, you know, this restraint? I, I feel that's what feminism is all about. Mm -hmm. Me saying that, treat me the same way you treat a male. It's as simple as that. So, um, just like Mr. Diaw, I loved it that he's coming from the other side. He said that feminism is all about equality. And I asked him, is that just what you, like, maybe you, you, you read it somewhere and you decided to say it on a podcast. Do you actually believe in it? Because this very equality, he stated, is the problem. You know, that there is a saying that what a man can do, a woman can do better. But if you say it to them, they get angry. They get, they try to battle you or something like that. So I want us to focus on this equality. I want us to focus on equality. <laughs> do you actually think it's all about equality? Because the equality there is what is causing the problem. 
they don't think everyone should be equal. So if we are talking about equality, I want us to dive into that and break it down. You're saying equality, equality. If I should tell you that we are equal now, will you believe? Will you keen to that? Won't you? <laughs> Please. So I'd like to hear from Bellamy. Is it actually equality? Or we are just trying to be educated and and like fitting. Okay, well, um, it's amazing that we have to speak on this subject because usually when we have to talk about this, there's always this, we always have this question come up to say that uh, can a man be a feminist as well? Mm. Um, and so I would say that feminism is that movement started many years ago in the 18th century and where people started making, they started making their feelings known as the fact that both genders, especially the female this time around, have poor rights and can have equal opportunities. Yeah. And so I, I think it's a thing that is coming up now. Pretty much it has been taken radically to an extreme state where some people have said things they shouldn't say. But the idea of feminism is that it was built on the foundation of equality, meaning that you are giving each person a platform for success where I what is that. good for the goose is good for the gander. Ganda, yeah. Right, so that's the, that's, that's the standpoint we should all take. And I hope as we delve into the conversation, we can have more questions come up to end us into more. I love that. Thank you so much, Mr. Belu. So um, let me give this one to Grace. Still on equality. We've said a lot about they saying equality, equality. But do you think, don't you think that when we women, when we talk about equality to the other gender, they feel attacked? Am I right or wrong? You can you can choose your ground. You can choose to stand with them or you can choose to start with your gender. Let's go on. Yes, actually, some people, let me just say, let me just say, it's not, we say feminism, feminism. People always think it's only female that are in the group of a feminist. You understand? They are male also, they are all in the side of this feminism. Yes, yes. It, it is when you have that mindset of let everyone be equal. Either the, the, the both genders, they should have equal rights. Okay. Then you are, you are a feminist. Okay. It, it doesn't have to be a, a, a male or a female. Okay. In as much you have that mindset. So you don't need to feel attacked that oh, I'm attacking you, that I'm a feminist or whatsoever. Okay, so we've heard it now that femi as a man you can be a feminist. It's not just a movement of women. It's us pursuing equal rights. You you want this for yourself because you think it's good. I, as a woman, I want that as well. And I don't want you to feel attacked. I don't want you to feel that I'm stepping on your head. So let's go over to the next question. Like I said, the, the, the reason for this podcast is for us to open up so many things because Right now, so many women who are fighting for women's rights don't want to identify as feminists because femini feminism is, it has been misunderstood. So nobody wants to say I'm a feminist because it's now like a dent in the society. Feminists now, they are known to be violent, attacking. When you go to social media, they are always they're trying to look for who to attack. And this has been because the, feminist, the feminism that was practiced back then when they were fighting for women's suffrage, equal rights in education, I don't think that is what is existing right now. So I want us in this podcast to iron out, fish out those things that people think, like they think that this is feminism, but in the actual sense, it is not feminism. So I would like to start with my dear Elizabeth. What do you think that people are doing that they think is feminism, but it is not? Well, coming down to Africa, Nigeria specifically, we have this um, gene rooted in our body that you know calls for violence and taking things <laughs> aggressively. Okay. And so I feel that Nigeria has actually given their own interpretation mm -hmm. to the feminism movement. And then you see some women go online and they're like, Oh, because we are looking for equality, yeah. so I don't need a man to take care of me. You know this famous song, what a man can do, a woman can do so. Mm. A man can rise the down for a woman can do it. Yeah. A man can carry a very big heavy thing, a woman can. So they, they actually are the one actually now making it look like feminism is all about we don't need a man. And that's not what it is. I listened to um, a TED talk where Chimamanda DJ was sharing her experience. 
she said now the reason why i became a feminist i'm not saying i don't need a man mm. i'm not saying that i can stand and be independent on my own what i'm trying to say is we need a society where a man can stand and speak and he's applauded a woman can stand and speak and she's I'm applauded i don't need people to yeah. look at me okay this is what happened she said she and a friend went out all right so they they actually got something and she was the one who was meant to pay so what happened was that the man who sold it turned to the guy and was like looking at him requesting for money money yeah and you know <laughs> and before that time she gave him a purse yes. so he brought out the money and paid so she was like i mean it, it felt so strange all right because she was the one she could the man could have turned to her but she interpreted it to be oh that means a man has to take care of everything so she is saying that now the, the the society has has seen a man as he's so superior and many people always go back to the scripture that says woman is the inferior vessel which is not actually the truth mm. so i feel that nigerian people feminists to say in quotes yes. are actually the one who is misinterpreting they the, yes the, they're the actually making main... it look like we don't need a man so yes. here with him i'm okay so that is where the problem is coming from our mentality so this is to say that Africans, Nigerians are making feminism to look as if it's a battle, it's a war. No one is fighting you, you are fighting for your rights. It is not a war against men like you are thinking. You are fighting for yourself and you should focus on that. The men are not the problem. For me, I don't think um, feminism is a wrong movement. I am a feminist and I'm proud to say that because I know I'm focused on myself. I don't, I don't, I'm not, it's not a war against anyone. I'm trying to make things right. Things that we are set against my agenda that I, that I think that this is not supposed to be. And that is where I'm focused on and not the male gender per se. So that being said, hmm, back to equality. So the guys here, you say that you don't have a problem with equality. Am I right? So will you be comfortable to marry a feminist? <clears throat> be sincere. We need sincerity. Can your wife be a feminist? <laughs> Capital, yes. Oh, wow. To begin with, mm. in today's world, you don't need to be dependent on the man. If you're not working today as a woman, you're not respected. Okay. That is number one. Secondly, uh, when it comes to the salary issue, some people feel inferior. Mm. When I mean the men. Mm. I'll borrow or take a cue from Elizabeth. It's a mentality. You come to Africa, it has to be the man all the time. But sometimes some people actually misquote some perceptions. Mm. When you, let me borrow, so I can't remember the verse now, but it says study to show thyself approved. Yes. When you have studied, mm. then you will know that yes, when you educate a woman, you educate a nation. Because the woman gives birth to twins, triplets, quadruplets. Yeah. And once she is well cultured, the children are well cultured. If she's not cultured, the children cannot get cultured because those children will actually make up the society. Okay. I hope I've made my point. Mm, let me let me take that as a yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, Mr. Bellumi, what do you have to say? Can you marry a feminist? Can you are you are you, are you into that? Well, one hundred percent. Like I've said the other time, that it is when you give good genders platform for success, meaning that, meaning that um, so to say that some people back in the day would, would take a girl of 11 year old and get her married to a man of 17 years old, right? Yeah. And then you would have some guys also try to bully ladies not to do so many things. And so if I, have, if I happen to meet a lady who is incredible, she takes life seriously, She's pushing towards destiny. I mean, there are quite a lot of ladies today, women today who are doing so well. I will give an instance of um, Madam Ngozi Okunjewiala, who today is doing so well and making Nigeria proud. Mm -hmm. You have Mommy Mibuku um, Anwoshika doing so well. And you wonder why the husband is not um, in front and visible to all to see. And it speaks about how that these men have been able to give their wife the platform for success. But there has to be balance to it. Um, balance to it means that when you are married, you have to pay attention to your family. Okay. 
Okay. So as you try to push towards that, if I have you, if I happen to meet a lady who is incredible, she wants to do stuff, no, no problem. I'm also doing quite well. So if I happen to meet a lady like that, what I will ask her for is to say, see, when we get married, um, some things have to change. As a man, some things have to change as well so that we can both be happy together. All right now, I, I, may, I know when I mention something that has to change, the ladies here are looking at me. My girl is behold, know, you come in. They're looking at me. Yes. But what I'm saying that something that has to change is you can you can travel for one week and leave myself and the kids alone without reaching out to us. Okay, so but, but can you do that? You can travel. I can't for... travel one week that long and mm. not keep people. Mm. Okay. Come on. You know, I, oh, I, I get the other two now. <laughs> no, we, we are saying the quality, so we want to be sure uh, what we are doing. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So whatever whatever I, I think is fine for myself to be able to do, I would also, I mean that, I, I, I hope to be able to give it to a girl child as well, that I would also inspire to push towards her mean, like her mother is. You understand. So that's my view on that. Uh, so Elizabeth, you've been waiting. <laughs> okay, so I have to come in here because I have something to say. Talking about equality, mm. can we bring it down to house chores? Mm. Okay. Let's because in a Nigerian home, mm -hmm. the girl has to wash the plates. She has to cook. Mm. She has to clean. What happens to them? No, we are talking about feminism. Let's let's be real. Let's and it's a movement yeah. for equality. I love that if I I'm going to wash plates. My husband will have to wash plates. Mom. He has to know how to sweep. Why should you, a man now marry? Okay, they said they, they can marry a feminist, 100%. I, I'm quoting Kwelumi now. <laughs> so, 100%, can you sweep the house? Can you wash clothes? I mean, you have to share it. It's feminism, it's a movement. Equality, political, both in house choice, everything. Now, so if we now get married, we are talking about equality. It means that some days I can cook, some days he can cook. Mm. I can give him clothes to wash, he will wash. He will not say I'm the man. There will not oh, be any superiority. Should. Like we really need to probe this. Let's bring it down to this level. Because when they're saying this, I'm like, are these people trying yeah, to Yeah, yeah, because if you you're know, saying equality, let it be equality. Let us, let's, let's, we don't need bias. So, um, Grace, what do you have to tell us? I agree with Elizabeth concerning bringing down and bringing it down to house chores and mm. all of that. Because in some houses, we see that they will say, I'm a male, I can't do this. I, I, I'm a female, I can't do this. Every opportunity given to a male gender should be given to a female gender. Exactly. In my, I, let me use my house as an example. Every of my, of, of my siblings that are male, they can cook perfectly. I can't be at home and maybe I, I, I just come back from somewhere or wherever I went to and my younger ones that are male, they are expecting me to cook or my other brother is expecting me to cook when he has been at home all this way. Mm. You understand? So I think it's it, uh, this equality should start from the, the, the family because the family are the one diversing to the society. So that, let's start from the family, how, the, how parents take their children or, or how they give equality to their children. I don't know. I don't know, Africans. We, we find it so hard to accept good things. Because I heard this story on Twitter. A guy posted that when his mom lost her mother, that is the guy's um, grandmom, the dad came back after hearing the news and saw the woman sad and everything that his statement, the dad's statement was, oh, uh, have you heard your mom died? That's sad, please, I want to eat. Go and prepare me food. Does that make sense? What, what, happened, what happens to you at that point that you even know that she's emotionally broken? You couldn't do anything because you feel that that is the work of a woman. So I don't know, I don't know what to do with African men. Do you want feminists that be made with throw and go away? Men, ah, so. At this point, yeah. you're actually becoming the violent feminist. You actually said No, I want us to, I want us, if you want to do something, do it well. Do you want to, do you want to accept feminism or you don't want to accept it? Feminism, it is not a movement violence yeah no because one is being that is the way you are addressing it no, now no i'm trying to open up something because why would your wife lose a mom and you expect that person to go and cook that moment 
I will take an example. I think that's just an individual. That is based on individual personality. Okay. So I will still fall back on number one, mm. family, society. Mm. It's a function of the environment. Okay. What family raised you? Mm-hmm. What's the particular uh, tribe known for? Okay. Now it's common knowledge now that I'm from Edo State. We are known for being aggressive. Be careful, they are out there. Oh, yeah, I don't care. That is what they want to I showcase what go I'm made on. up to. Go on. When it goes to the northerners, they are quite, uh, you know, proud. Mm. All those kinds of things. And their own pride is kind of silent. Okay. And when it comes to the Igbo man, no. <laughs> don't go there. The Igbo oh. man is really, really proud. Even if that Igbo man is staying in a room self contained yeah. with his 100,000 naira, he's a billionaire. Okay. So, don't it's a cultural thing it's a family thing but unless maybe you're western oriented before you now begin to actual uh, actually embrace the values of feminism in my own house no jokes okay if we're a couple and i see even maybe you're boiling rice i cook okay okay my woman has gone out she is uh she has gone for her daily routine then she has to get, I'm hungry. I don't have to wait for her, knowing she's on a nine to five job. Okay. I sort myself out. Then she comes back, okay, I'm hungry. We know how we behave these days. We see it in movies. Oh, I'm hungry. What's in the house? Needs to eat. Well, a situation whereby the man has been busy and then, mm-hmm. yes, you lost your mom. No, that's insensitivity yeah. now. Okay. Then you now say she'll go and cook again. That's been insensitive. So everything still boils down to who mm-hmm. raised you? Yes, yes, Where are you coming from? I believe, the environment. I, I believe that that's 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 very good. Sorry to cut you short. There's one notion we we, are, we have to address. This notion of of uh, people saying every uh, every okay, an education of a woman ends in the kitchen. Is it actually true? How how do we see it? It's still it's still based on this equality. Mm. My education didn't end in the kitchen and it will not end in the kitchen. Well, I, I, don't okay. think, I don't think that is entirely correct. Mm-hmm. Um, people, sometimes some quotes you see online are just drawn from a particular No, it's not online. Like, if you uh, It was, who said, someone, someone said it. Um, I think and it went viral. Yes. So we don't know who said it, it went viral. And the person said it mm-hmm. from a perspective that was peculiar to a situation. So what I would say about um, feminism, in a way, and to the question you asked and Odewa gave response yeah. to, is that um, that was insensitive of the, of the man to do. Even if it was the man who lost his mother, there are certain things you wouldn't ask your husband to do. But sometimes we tend to tilt towards, okay, if, if, a woman, if a woman is tired and she can't cook, the man has to go and cook. And then, but we, the same persons, Odewa, the same persons have embraced the idea that ladies first. So anytime it's enjoyment time, they say it's ladies first. Now, if we have to balance things, then there's nothing, nothing should be ladies first. Rule that out of our books, no ladies first. Everybody should be equal, treated that same way. But to bring it down, um, mm. to bring it down, to be very, very honest, very, very honest, we also have to understand the, um, the build up of a woman. We also have to understand that um, sometimes we've seen people say, okay, there's a bag of rice to be carried and then there's a load to be carried and you want you say lady etiquette you know ethical culture teaches a few more things that um so there's a bag of rice to be carried you've carried your own bag of rice and you're carrying your own bag like your school bag with you what is right to do what is what is acceptable to do is to give is to carry the bag of rice to the venue to the destination and then return to carry the other bag of rice but let me ask you a favor now okay. before everyone ladies and gentlemen listen to our response <laughs> would you carry a bag of rice I, I won't because I can't I can't carry a bag of rice. Okay. But when the man demands of you to assist him to carry the bag of rice, would you carry the bag of rice? Of course. Okay. So when you went and that's marriage. That's like saying we have we have something that we want to build together. We want to move this bag of rice successfully from point A to point B. Okay. Can you join me to carry? I don't want to carry the load alone. Some guys say they want their wife to be um, a full housewife. And sometimes the excuse they give that they don't want her to stress herself. Mm. But the world has changed in a way that a woman can be at home and make money. She can do online business. I know a woman online, uh, Madam Choma on Facebook, very popular there. She's, she works from her home, and makes millions every single month. So it's to understand that um, if I call myself a feminist as a woman, I, I, I also need to understand the responsibility attached to saying I want things to be equal. Mm. Okay. All right? That's it. I, I don't know why you should be <laughs> this 
like equality is actually a right we should have. Let's Yo, be sincere. I, think, I love this. It, it, it is our right. I mean, why should we even start a movement to say that we need equality? Mm. When it is something that the constitution has offered every citizen. Everybody has the same right. We have the same right to education. Mm. And we are even going too far. We're talking about marriage. Let's calm down. Like, Let's yeah, calm down. See, I want to say that. Let me tell you something. We are in a society that is actually female biased. That's the truth. You see, okay, something happened that was in the bus. I was heading home and this officer, a, a woman, she stepped into the bus. Usually when a male officer step in, they don't even collect money from her. Mm-hmm. And the conductor was like, I beg, calm down, Joe. If not, you go, I go disgrace you. The woman was like, I'm an officer. I'm a staff and all that. He kept on embarrassing this woman. He kept on, um, you know, he was being abusive. And someone was like, oh God, this way they do not make sense. So if now man enter now, you no go talk this thing. Mm-hmm. Now, what do we say about that? Now, we're not talking about marriage or anything. We're talking about, can we have a society where people don't question a lady when she speaks? Can we have a society where the same respect you give to a man, you can give it to a to woman? That's what, see, Nigeria is even trying when it comes to this. You need to go to countries like those Arab countries where they practice this, um, like Islamic religion. Con- you need to see what they do to women. Like a human can't even enter the mosque to pray. Like you need to see how they are treated like fields. Like you, I mean, she's a, she's a virus that infects. You even you you, you, about here. you take blames for abuse when you are being raped. They te- they will tell you you called for it. If the son is not doing well, it's the mother's it's mother. child. If the son is doing well, it's the father's child. Oh God. So let, if we should be honest, if we should be honest, I will tell you that I don't think equality is a word that can work in Africa. I will just key into what my lecturer said about feminism. We were studying this particular course, African Women in History. There were a lot of questions, guys in our class, they no agree much for women, this and that. So at the end of the day, I think the last class we had, the woman took time to tell us a lot of things. And at the end of the day, she told us that, to be honest, equality for women might be a hard thing to get to achieve in Africa. And to tell us that the feminism we should be seeking for is equity and not equality. When things are being done to you in fairness, you get, I don't know if, if you understand, and she believes for her, she doesn't believe in feminism being equality. She, she believes that feminism is equity for women, fairness for women, do them justice. And right there, I was like this, this thing this woman is saying is true because if you bring women, I, I'm, most things are easily said than done. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I just want to come in there quickly to say that we, if you find people who are very, you find people who are very um, successful in their marriage, my marriages, and if you find a woman who is successful in her home and is 20 years married, and usually if you ask her keen questions, if you ask her to tell you, if you ask her to tell you what has kept our family together, you will hear things that will amaze you. And sometimes you don't take everything hook, line, and sink, and say, this is what it is, I have to do it that way. I tell you, your home might break, all right? So some people, back in the day, if you found a man, if, you, if a woman goes to our, our son's house and finds him washing pants, for I hope that this is 18 plus. Maybe he laughs for everyone, yeah. Um, she would say that that man has his head in the coven of witches, a wizard, mm-hmm. right? Okay. And but the world has changed. The world we are now in a modern world where, and I think I buy the idea. It was the reason I had to come in by the idea of, of equity. To say everyone should be treated in fairness. Yes. Everyone. So, um, I, my wife has not returned from work. I am back from work. My kids, I have to go and pick my kids from school. I bring them home. I can make them noodles if I can make them, if I can make them um, boil porridge and get to be sure that until my wife comes back and we can boot cook together, we can be in the kitchen together, just in, she's frying meat. I am cutting yam for pound to pound it. You know, things like that just makes it homework. I love that. Awesome. <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> just feel like eating part of the yam now. But it's, it's what it is. We just have to understand that um, we don't take everything hook, line, and sinker. We try to understand the person we are dealing with and see how we can make things work together. 
that's okay. Okay. Um, I really. Do you have something you've been moving your mouth, Mister Odia, or do you have something to tell us? Wait, the man, the man, the Team men. Oh, team men. I see that alpha males. <laughs> so a lot being said about feminism. There has been a lot of misconception. Basically, all the Gen Zs, Gen Zs in particular, they, they feel that once you're a feminist, you have to be ready on Twitter. Anything any alpha male drops, go and attack them. If men, if men say this is this, you just have to oppose men. Just counter men, that's what makes you a feminist. But no, that is not feminism. You are fighting for your rights. There are so many things that have, you've been deprived of. Like, let's go back in the, in, um, in, down in history lane. There are some, there are weird times that women, you can vote. Someone is about to lead you. The main folks can go and vote, but you in same society with them, you can't vote and it doesn't make sense. So we are trying to make sense, address all these things that patriarchy has brought that doesn't make sense. You are working in the same co company with, with males and you, your pay is under theirs. It doesn't make sense. So most of these things that are not right, those are the things that your feminism is trying to address inequality in education as a matter of fact when my dad was sending us to school because we are more of girls in the family an uncle came and asked why are you wasting your money these people are still going to leave your house so these are the mentality those patriarchal mentality those are the things that feminism is about like it's trying to eliminate like in, where I come from in the East, they will tell you that a woman, you, you shouldn't eat gizzard. Does it make sense to you, men and brethren? Just a, 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 a useless part of an animal, they will tell you that you cannot eat gizzard. So one time I told my mom... On the basis of what? I told my mom that, do you know that it's not about gizzard? They are trying to limit your self-esteem because Giza does not is, is nothing in the grand scheme of meat. It's not it's nothing. So why would you, why would they tell you that you cannot eat this particular part of the meat? It's just to make you to feel that anything you do, whether in food, in farming, in everything, you are still under us. It's not it's not about the gizzard. They don't give a damn about the gizzard. The main thing behind you not eating the gizzard is for you to know that. Yeah. We are yeah, greater than you. You cannot, you cannot be above us. So these are certain mentalities that feminism is trying to address for the betterment of women. We are not fighting anybody. You are not in a war. You're not in a battle. So please, Gen Zs, every generation self, please let us let us know what we are doing. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what we are doing. We are, we are, and, and next time, I think next time we should be talking about alpha males. Those ones. <laughs> they don't want to. Another set of people that don't want us to breathe in the society. But there, there, are, also, there are also alpha females as well. People yeah. who, um, to a very good extent, mm. do not like to be, to be directed. Now the word is so the difference between control and direction. Mm. Control is when you are being ordered to do something you don't want to do or sometimes being suppressed. But directed sometimes would be that um, I call you and I tell you this is how to get it done and you go and do it this way. So we have alpha females who don't want to be directed. And that's that's an extreme place. Those alpha females are the misconcepted feminists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are the mm -hmm. how will I say it? Crooked feminists. So we are done with them today. That's why I said I'm it's time sorry, for our fun. And you know the, the most funny thing is that these people they don't even know the meaning of feminism. They don't that know. I, you just say that that is just what you see a lady fighting. Why if I'm a feminist? And, and, and they made their self hitter of men. Me, you're, you're not hating girls. anybody. You're supposed to be fighting for your rights. Like, do can I get fairness? Can I get this what is right for me don't fight you don't have to be cool ladies okay we have this but just so that i bring this here because it's we are guys we have to see our own so, <laughs> yes you're free uh, we have we, we live in a world where we live in a world where because over the years people have some ladies have been cheated in their lives mm. and you find it they decide to fight to ensure that okay ladies also um get justice in society they tend to put their attention more on Every time it's a girl child, you find people buying 
buy um, pad, you buy soap. But when it's the when it's the boy child day, you rarely find any celebration. Any anybody celebrate the guys and all Elizabeth, that. Elizabeth, we are fighting our battles. It's up oh. to you to rise and fight your own battles. You can <laughs> you can start <laughs> menacing. <laughs> menacing. <laughs> menacing. <laughs> <laughs> no, here. nobody told women we woke up by ourselves and we we started feminism. So you can start menacing. No, nobody's holding you. Don't don't keep complaining. <laughs> but when you are saying she starts feminism, um, menacing. Okay, it, this movement is not all about female. They are, even the males, they are they are, they are, yes, they are fem- yes. feminism. When you start your so menacing. We so, will support. Uh, I'm sorry. The way the ship of this feminist uh, discussion is going, mm-hmm. you are trying to blackmail the male guests here. No, <laughs> it's not a blackmail. We are trying to support. You have ironed out your issue. You said <laughs> this is how you've been treated, and people are hearing it now. We are not trying to tell you we are. Not we here. Yes, it's so, you are you are representing the whole of the men's society. Mr. Kwelumi, this was a very indicting statement. <laughs> I tell you. I tell so you. So please start your movement. I personally I will support and I believe the rest of us will. All right, let me add also to this. I think um that was in the year 2021. I wrote an article. I'm actually so advocate advocate for the girl child, but I actually wrote an article that's was balanced. I spoke for the girl child, I spoke for the boy child. I said, the reason why we're having a society like this, where we are raising men who can't respect women, or we are raising society of women who hate men, is because of what they have been failed, all right? Yeah. The ladies men to believe that, hey, the guy is superior and they will treat you this. All you have to do is you have to be defiant, you have to be dogged, you have to, you know, nod back when he nods you. And the male is told by his father, if you want to control woman, you need to put chains on the hands and all that. You know, so this mentality while growing up, rendition. what will see, what will listen to the perception indirectly is entering into our belief system. And so that's why we have a society of people that can't even see that. Oh, what we are actually trying to say is that can we have a society where I have a male child, I have a female child, and I treat my male child the same way I treat my female child. The toy I buy for the male child, I buy for the female child. If Junior does well, I say Junior kudos. If Linda does well, I say Linda kudos. So I, I, if we can also go down to parenting, I feel that yes. parents have a big role to play. So can we even tell you that you shouldn't cry. You're a boy. You're yes, a guy. Like men should cry. We should bring this down to our young ones and make them understand that all of you are the same. Like you said, equity. The male, the same opportunity, the same platform. Mm-hmm. And we are trying to say as feminists, we're trying to say that I think feminism should be about don't place restriction on my dreams. Don't exactly. place restriction on my pursuit. Exactly. Like, so I, I just feel that every other thing that's happening outside these things is, is, is just things that people are actually trying to use to, you know, generate mm-hmm. maybe viral content and all that. Every other thing that's be, like uh, beyond this, don't place restriction mm-hmm. on me is not... All right, guys. <laughs> All right, people. And now being said about feminism, I, I believe everyone has learned something today because I myself have learned a lot today. So I will end this podcast by telling you what is not feminism. Feminism is an orientation where no one is supposed to be left out. You are, ma- you are a male gender, you are a female gender, you are involved in feminism. Basically, feminism should be a means of connecting women to empower them, not to oppress them. Feminism is not about reversing the status quo and oppressing men, no, but about challenging the status quo to stop oppressing women. Feminism is not an overthrow of patriarchy. You are not over, nobody was even on the throne before. So it's not about you overthrowing patriarchy. It's it's addressing what places patriarchy got it wrong, trying to balance the scale. That is what feminism is. And finally, feminism is not delusional. It's not disgusting. It's not hypocritical and it is not hating men. Thank you for joining us on today's podcast and see you next time. Probably we'll be discussing about alpha males and menism if it eventually gets developed by then. Thank you and see you next time. Thank you for joining us and bye.